Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. There are my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad in the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about regular expression greedy quantifiers. I'm going to open up my web browser to javacjava.com, my website, select menu, and then regex tutorials. I'm going to scroll down here to regex greedy quantifiers. Now there are three different groupings of quantifiers, greedy, reluctant, and possessive. This tutorial is all about greedy quantifiers. Now what is the difference between greedy, reluctant, and possessive quantifiers, you might ask? Well the answer is found by studying how the regex engine processes the search string. Now by default, quantifiers are considered to be greedy. Now before I go any further, let me quickly go over the six different types of greedy quantifiers. Okay, we got the question mark, which means wants or not at all. The asterisk means zero or more times. The plus means one or more times. And then, of course, um, in the introduction, I basically went over like um, the curly bracket and then the number. So exactly x times, at least x times, right? x comma, and then you leave the second parameter blank, and then x to y times there. So here are some simple examples. In the United States, we spell color without the U, and over in the United Kingdom, they'll spell color with the U. So I'm not sure about the rest of the world, but you know, here's how we can do an a regular expression that will match kind of both of these. So we'll do C-O-L-O, -O, right? And then the quantifiers always pair up with the token just to the left of them. And when I say token, I'm, we're talking about character in this particular case, but it might also be like a character class, a capturing group, a non-capturing group, so on and so forth there. But it always applies just to the left of that, the token to the left. So what this says is this says the, the character U can be in there once or not at all. So that's how it'll match color or color with the U. Okay, moving on to the next one here, we got the same thing, C-O-L-O, -O, and then we've got our greedy quantifier there with the asterisk, which says zero or more times. So that could, means the letter U, the token U can be in there zero, right, which is in color, or more times with O, C, O, L, O, U, R, okay? All right, you might be going, okay, well, these, these are functioning the same. What's the difference? And they are very same, so for very similar, right? You've got not at all, and that matches zero here. And then you've got once here, and that matches more times, well, once, right? Because this can be zero, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So they're all these are the same zero or one basically, but then this one keeps going all the way up to infinity. Okay. All right, let's talk a little bit about this next one here, C O L O, right? And then we've got this qua uh, this quantifier here, which is at least x times, which is zero or more, right? So use. You can see that'll match color or color, and you can see actually when you do this particular syntax right here. This is exactly the same as doing an asterisk, okay? All right, on to the next one here. Let's talk about this character string Mississippi. You can see we've got like um, I followed by two characters, I followed by two characters, and I followed by two characters. It's like a little pattern in here, right? So let's do a regular expression to validate Mississippi right here, right? So we got M, uppercase M, and then in our capture group here, right, we've got the letter I, and then, of course, predefined characters, lowercase w, means just basically a, um, the characters a through z, upper and lower, 0 through 9, and an underscore there. So we're going to have i followed by basically two characters in this particular case there, and that's our caption group. Now, applying the asterisk quantifier to it pairs it up with the token next to it, which is the caption group, and says, okay, this capturing group can occur zero or more times. Well, it's gonna occur a total of three times there, so that'll match Mississippi. Let's take a look at the next one where we do the same thing, only we apply the one or more times plus quantifier there, right? And of course, that will match it too because we're gonna have more than one or more, right? If we did this one here, this would not return back anything because if we substituted you know, the question mark in there, that's once or not at all, and we're gonna have three of them, so, or not at all, and so that's not going to match up at all. All right, now let's talk about exactly n times, x times, sorry. Um, this, this quantifier there will say that that capturing group can occur exactly three times, in which case it will, right? We'll get exactly three of those, so that'll match. Um, if we do zero comma nothing there, that'll match two from zero right and we got three of them all the way up to infinity 
And this, of course, by the way, is the exact same thing as that. And then let's go one more step further there. And we say one or more, right? Which just happens to match, of course, our plus here up as well. So you can see that uh, once or not at all, question mark here, this plus kind of picks up afterwards to uh, be one or more times, right? So they have in common once, not at all, one or zero, and this is one plus, right? And then this guy kind of encompasses everything, zero all the way up there, right? So that's basically how, how the greedy quantifiers work there. So let's talk about that greedy word. Now, a greedy quantifier instructs the matcher to match as many instances of its qualified token or sub pattern as possible. In other words, a greedy quantifier will return back the largest possible string match from the search string. Now, I could spend a bunch of time explaining how the regex engine reads characters in various different ways, right to left, backtracking, blah, 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 but I'll save that for the reluctant and possessive tutorials. For now, I'm just going to give you some simple examples along with an explanation of the results in the video tutorial. So let's come down here and highlight all the source code and control C to copy or right click and select copy. Move the browser off screen and I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really fast by right clicking, selecting new shortcut, CMD next, finish, it's just that easy. Go and open this up. If you're new to my tutorials, type in Java C, which is a Java compiler command. You should see all this stuff scroll by. However, if you receive an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You wanna make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash, CD short for change directory backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm gonna make a directory here called Java using the MD command. I already have that folder, but if you don't, I'm gonna go ahead and create it for you. Make another directory here called uh, regex greedy quantifiers okay change directories to that and then i'm on notepad regex greedy quantifiers dot java <clears throat> okay i think i got that all spelled out right there looks good to me okay Control V to paste that in. Let's come up here and save it. First statement, we're importing Java Util regex package. Single class in this file, main method entry point right here. And now I've got my display method, display find method down here where I will take the string regex as the first parameter. And then of course the search string search me as the second parameter. Simply sending found it to false. And then I'm creating a pattern object by compatible compiling the regular expression that we pass in. And of course, I'm throwing in the overloaded version and, and passing it the case insensitive flag here too, because we're not gonna worry about case sensitivity today. And then I'm creating my matcher object by invoking the, uh, the matcher method on the pattern P object there. While we, while we keep finding it, it'll display to the console regex plus the regular expression we passed in, found plus the group that it finds, right? and then in and then plus the search me, which is the search string up here. If it doesn't find it, it'll say no matches, okay? All in all, fairly simple on that static void display find. So basically I'm just gonna be invoking display find, passing in the regular expression and the search string. So I'll show you the, let's just come up here and make sure this is saved. Let's clear our screen and compile this, Java C. And let's run it. Okay, so. <clears throat> Um, take a look at like the first first few of them here, right? So the question mark, um, found it, right? Found it there. The asterisk quantifier, found it there, found it there. The plus, when remember the plus, let me pull this back over here for you guys there. The plus is one or more times, okay? So when we apply the plus in this particular case right here, Right, we get no matches found for C O L um, C O L, right? And then plus you on string for is that a coloring book, right? Apply it with the, no U in there. But when we do it with the U in there, of course we get the, the string back there, right? Because being one or more times. So that's all pretty straightforward there. All right, um, in the next little bit down here, as a matter of fact, I'll just switch over here to the DOS prompt there. Um, zero there, right? That found it. 
no surprise there that it finds it on both the color with and the one with the U. And then here's our Mississippi things, and basically that uh, that of course finds it with the asterisk there. The asterisk says you know zero. <coughs> Just uh, scroll up on this right about, right about there. Yeah. All right, good enough. Okay, so of course the asterisk is zero or more times. So that of course finds it there. And then right underneath that, basically, I did the um, you know the range there, zero or more times, just to show you this is the exact same thing as that. <clears throat> Okay, and then uh, the plus, which of course is one or more times, that finds it there too as well. And I did that right underneath here too as well with the, the other sort of quantifier syntax there. And then I did exactly three times two and that, that finds it as well, as you can see. All right, so all in all quantifiers, not, not too difficult on figuring that sort of stuff out. Um, now let's talk about the greediness of these quantifiers there. Okay, so what I have down here is I have the string of literal here Red yo-yos. I like red yo-yos. And we've got this uh, yo-yos in here and yo-yos in here, right? One is more towards the beginning of the, um, the string literal and one is more towards the end of the string literal. And if we do yo-yos, and of course remember I did case insensitive on the pattern here, right? So it it's, doesn't matter on that, it'll find it there. When we do yo-yos, and then dot, which is our wild card, and then star, which is zero or more times, we're basically instructing it that we want to specifically find the YOYO and then the S, yo-yos, right? And then the, um, the asterisk quantifier is applied directly to the token next to it, which is the star, right? So um, here's, here's what we end up getting, right, on this particular one there. So for yo-yos.star, it found yo-yos, right? Um, yo-yos dash, I like red yo-yos, okay? So it found it from here to here. You'll notice it did not find the red space up top there. And that's basically because it's, when we're talking greedy, right? I mean, it could have just said, okay, if it was starting from the back and it found yo-yos and it said, okay, um, I could just stop right here and return back yo-yos, but it searches through the whole entire string to come up with the longest possible <clears throat> return result, which is off of this yo-yos up here. And then of course the dot star says basically give me everything after that all the way to the end of our string literal there, okay? All right, so let's take a look at this next one down here where we have dot star, right? Our quantifier for zero or more times applied to our wildcard dot and then followed by yo-yos. Well, what what are we going to get on that, right? Okay, so in that particular case, what we get is that we could have gotten like, for example, this right here. This, this would work, but can the regex engine come up with a longer, a more greedier, like, like give me, give me more, give me, give me, give me, right? And it can. It can come out to this yo-yos and it can, it can grab everything in front of it, right? So that's what it's gonna return back there. So it found red yo-yos dash, I like red yo-yos. You'll notice the only thing it couldn't include was the ask, was the exclamation point at the very end, right? And that's because we don't have that in our regular expression there, okay? All right, and then without it, right? If we just put in the string little red yo-yos, right? It will actually return back three times, right? And find yo-yos with the uppercase, yo-yos and yo-yos. So that particular one will find this yo-yos. Oh, let me bring that back up. This yo-yos and this yo-yos. All right, so I'm going to give you another example here that uh, this is kind of hopefully where you'll have your aha moment and be like, oh, okay, I can get, kind of get this here. So I got this string literal here that says, I like happy large dogs and happy small dogs. Well, we have kind of like a pattern here, happy, large dogs, and then happy, small dogs. So what if we do a regular expression here, happy, right? And then we use our quantifier zero or more times, the asterisk there, and it's paired up with the dot, which is a wild card, and then followed by dogs, okay? Um, are we gonna get two results back here? For like, for example, this or this, is it gonna find it twice? And the answer is no, because it's greedy, so it's going to try to return back the largest possible string value here, which is what we're going to see. So regex happy, 
dot asterisk dogs found happy large dogs and happy small dogs and that's where it ends so it goes from here to here and that's that's what it found there okay all right so I'm just going to show you guys a an example of a reluctant quantifier here and I don't want to confuse you but I just want to show you how the results will be different a reluctant quantifier is actually paired up with a a, a greedy quantifier and we do that by guess what adding the <laughs> question mark symbol right there okay this now becomes a reluctant quantifier and I'm gonna go into that in my next tutorials but let's come up here and save this and see how that affects the result of the regular expression here okay so let's go ahead and Java see this and Java this okay so now you can see that when we put this question mark on here and we turn this into technically a reluctant quantifier now you can see it found happy large dogs and then it went ahead and found happy small dogs okay so the reluctant quantifier caused it to find this and then it caused it to find this now I'm gonna get into a lot more of that but I just kind of wanted to show you how how the difference is there so let's go ahead and put this back here let's come up here save this let's put our screen recompile and we get the we get back the largest possible, the greediest thing, like gimme, gimme, gimme everything I can get. And we get found happy large dogs and happy small dogs. And so that's the greedy in the greedy quantifier there. Okay, and as we as you do this a little bit more, it'll all kind of make sense and everything like that. But that's just kind of how I can best explain what the greedy means in the greedy quantifier. You're gonna get the largest possible search result back. Okay. And you get some people who will explain how the search engine starts at the back and backtracks and takes in the whole string and blah, 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 and whatever order and this, that, and the other. And that doesn't really matter unless you really want to really, really get into regex. You just need to understand that a greedy quantifier will return back the largest possible string, right? So if you're expecting it to return two, uh, have two find results, right? Down here on the, when we invoke the find method on the matcher object, it's not going to, it's going to return back one, right? If we want two, we need to use a reluctant quantifier in this particular case there. So, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this, get rid of that. And my final thoughts is just gonna be a quick reiteration to stay tuned to my next tutorial where I will demonstrate reluctant quantifiers and show you how they behave differently from greedy ones. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.